song, a very personal song in, I'm going to say, eight years. Because the last album I had done was when my son was born. And I thought, I'm never going to write a song again. My marriage ended, um, so a lot happened. And um, I went to the piano and a lot of songs came out in a very, very brief period. I'm gonna say two weeks, probably wrote 10 songs. For me, I wanted to find a way to still uh, not go down such an incredibly heavy road with it, even though it is a dark maybe subject matter, but I still, I do like to kind of put it to a musical setting that isn't so dark. So Joel Alpers, sweet little Joey Joel. I think I called him up and I said, I think I'm ready to do another record. I knew I wanted to do it with him. Kate and I have a long history. We were in a band together for some time and collaborated pretty closely on that. And I played on uh, one of her records and then I produced the record that she had done before. So we had this long, really wonderful history together. I remember getting these songs and about over the course of a day or two, she sent little links on uh, my phone and I, I remember opening them. And they were just amazing. Uh, there were 10 of them. It was really exciting to get a batch of songs like that out of the blue from somebody who I loved and admired and to see that they were they were such great songs, every one of them. And he's an incredible musician. And um, we, we like very similar sounds and and he really treated it like his own child as well. So when someone's kind of that invested in it as, as you are, it's, you know, it's the right match. These songs all kind of had a, their own little vibe and uh, you could just tell they were created in a very concentrated space. He thought it was really important to record them quickly while what moved them to come to fruition was, you know, there and moving them. That's when I came up with the idea of really streamlining it and doing it with just the three of us, with Kate and myself and Anthony King, who tracked on bass and then over the, uh, all the guitar stuff. He said, I've got the bass player, I've got the guitar player. Well, they're the same person. Anthony and Kate had never played together before. I'd played many, many years with Anthony. We've done all kinds of stuff together, and Kate and I have a long history. So I, I thought it would work pretty well, but they had never even really met. And we got together one time at Kate's house and kind of ran through everything a few days before the session. The next time we played the songs was in the studio, on the record. So we booked two days, two full days, and went in as a trio, and uh, just did it. Two days, just played, I guess, five songs each day. It's just amazing what you can do with other people, you know. It's really cool. Well, we came up with this running order and I thought, let's, let's try tracking these songs straight through. And so we did that. So the first song you hear on the record, Sweet and Blue, is the first song we recorded, and it goes all the way through to the end with Fly, which was the last song we recorded. We really didn't play the stuff that much in the studio. I think three or four or five takes the most for some of the songs were first or second takes of us tracking it all together. Whenever possible, if you can record human beings playing together and moving air in the same room at the same time. You will never, no matter how slick you are, replicate that. It's, it's, certain things happen, there's a certain alchemy, and you cannot fake that. 
because you feel you feel that space, you feel that air, you feel the room, you know. There's a certain kind of intimacy when you're collaborating on something or you're speaking through the common language of music that's it's really special. It's a very different kind of connection and, and intimacy with somebody. Now, and I've worked with people before that were like, eh, you know, I think you could just leave it on, no one will hear that, or you know, I wouldn't worry about that. And Joel was like, you know, you're gonna you gotta live with this. This is a record. So if you don't like it, let's let's change it and I go, okay, okay. Well, and there's just one more thing. Writing songs moved me through a, a difficult time. If they can help anybody else do that, hey, that's icing on the cake, but they certainly did it for me. That would be my ultimate joy that people really went on the, on the journey with us and, and got something out of it. and then told 100 friends. <laughs> <laughs>